Make your play. Well, a Biden administration plan to cap credit card late fees at $8 will not be taking effect as expected this week. A federal judge in Texas temporarily blocked the ban after a legal challenge from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the American Banks Association. Both groups applauded the ruling, so the fate of the case may ultimately be decided by the U.S. Supreme Court. And the Golden Arches, once the king of a meal deal, is now cooking up a limited $5 value meal to win back the customers that they lost who felt outpriced. You see, $18 Big Macs and $6 hash browns offered in places like Connecticut came at the cost of complaining customers. And for the first time in years, McDonald's saw profit loss last quarter. Now, some may be opting out of dining regardless because it has become more expensive, shelling out 4.2% more dollars than this time last year, which means that restaurants are now needing to get a little more creative. We are seeing a lot more value in the restaurant space in reaction because if consumers are coming back, restaurants are going to have to do something to get them back in. Sources say that the meal could include four items, a McChicken or McDumble, four piece chicken nuggets, fries and a drink. All right, and get a handle on your inbox and the knowing the best ways to say no. Rich DeMiro has some pretty useful tips from Google's productivity expert. Soon, Google will hold its annual I.O. gathering to show the world what it's been working on in AI, Android, and more. How do they get it all done? With the help of Laura May Martin. Having those small habits just help us make sure that we're not getting distracted by technology, but that it's working for us in the right ways. Martin is Google's productivity advisor and author of a new book called Uptime, a practical guide to personal productivity and well-being. The book really talks about that not only is it important to prioritize well-being, but it makes you more productive. Her first tip, start your day with a routine that fills your own tank, whether it's meditating, journaling, or enjoying coffee in silence. That's one small thing, just a few Few minutes that carries you into the rest of your day and gives you that big energy boost before you start handing out energy everywhere else. Email is a common issue. Martin recommends unsubscribing to unimportant emails, separating emails into virtual action piles, and setting up a filter to flag important emails. Emails from your manager directly to you should look important and you can do that by setting up filters in Gmail and attaching a red label when those emails come in. So now you're visually prioritizing. Another priority should be downtime. Research shows that you're most creative during downtime. So those times in your workout, your commute, on a walk, those are times when you're actually coming up with your best ideas. Avoid procrastination on large tasks by using the Swiss cheese method. You wanna think about what is, how can I poke holes into it? So it's the smallest possible task that my brain feels excited about. Finally, learn more helpful ways to say no. Offer insight into why you can't or aren't willing to do something. Offer resources instead, or say not right now, if you might reconsider in the future. And so all of those are still ways of saying no, but they help you and the person who's requesting feel a little better about it. All right, well, Wisconsin native Peyton Jacobson is going to the Olympics. The 21-year-old punched his ticket to Paris by winning his weight class in Greco-Roman wrestling at the U.S. trials last month. Now, earlier this week, his hometown of Elkhorn, Wisconsin, uh, held a parade to celebrate his accomplishment. And Megan Lee was there for the details on his story. Downtown Elkhorn is painted red, white, and blue. That's because one of its own, Peyton Jacobson, is heading to the 2024 Paris Olympics. I can't let my people down. Community members sporting custom Peyton Jacobson shirts rallied downtown before he heads out of town for training. I mean, I'm truly blessed by just the people around me. Peyton qualified to compete in Greco wrestling in the 87 kilogram division. His love for the sport started right here in Elkhorn at a young age. This is my chance to put Elkhorn on the map, my chance to put my family on the map. After a few rough months here in Elkhorn, community members tell me that this big moment is bringing hope and happiness to this small town. It came at a great time when Elkhorn really needed it and uh, Peyton um, Peyton has re, just rejuvenated this town and it, it's buzzing. It's just buzzing. Peyton's parents appreciate the support during this special time. His goals were to be an Olympian and to see that 
come to fruition. It's a lot. Peyton was able to share some of his success with young athletes at a fundraising camp he held in the same gym he used to compete in, Elkhorn Middle School. I told him today, I said, these kids could be you and you know, you're inspiring them. He is inspiring young wrestlers like six-year-old Tristan Holden. Um, he signed my shoe and um, a poster. Do you want to go to the Olympics one day? Yes. Community members are hoping to raise $20,000 to send the Jacobson family and his coaches to Paris for this monumental moment. Well, you guys, uh, we don't have any rain out there for the time being, but we are going to be watching out for rain chances over the next couple of days. Also, heat advice.